Hello, and welcome to the first episode of Eyes Academy, the series where I want to teach you about some of the more complex and often misunderstood mechanics in The Binding of Isaac. Today's episode is focused on the devil and angel rooms, specifically on the mechanics underlying when they appear. Let's start by talking about the devil room. The devil room is a room that provides the player with an opportunity to purchase powerful items at the cost of red heart containers or soul hearts. The item pool for the Devil Room is mostly focused on offensive boosts, providing the player with additional damage or opportunities to deal extra damage in some way. But a few items that can appear in the Devil Room do not provide such a bonus, but are powerful nonetheless. The most direct route to getting a Devil Room is through the use of the Joker card, which upon use immediately teleports you to the Devil Room on whatever floor you're on. Upon exiting the Devil Room, you will find yourself at the start of the floor. Occasionally, red chests will also instantly teleport you to the Devil Room in the same fashion as the Joker card. Beyond that, things start to get a little tricky. There are a number of factors that influence whether a Devil Room will spawn naturally on a floor, and it is these factors that people often have trouble figuring out. First and foremost, there are a few floors where a Devil Room cannot naturally appear. These are the Basement 1, Shale, the Cathedral, and the Chest. Basically, the Devil Room won't spawn on the first floor of a run, and won't spawn past the womb, so don't get stuck thinking you'll get lucky on those floors. When you start a floor that can spawn a Devil Room, your probability of spawning a Devil Room is set to a base of 1%. There are then a number of factors that go into determining whether a Devil Room will spawn on that floor or not. A number of items can increase your chances of obtaining a Devil Room. The Pentagram, for example, adds 20% to your probability upon picking it up. Additionally, you can actually get multiple pentagrams in one run if you are exceptionally lucky, and in which case, the maximum benefit you can get from pentagrams is 30%. Having the Book of Revelations in your possession adds 35% to your probability. Having the Book of Belial in your possession adds 25% to your probability. However, hold your horses, Judas lovers. He doesn't benefit from this bonus, so you don't get an automatic 25% bonus for starting as Judas. Sorry, Judas. Another factor that can play into your probability is beggars. Both Judgy and the Shell Game Beggar can be killed and provide a 35% bonus for that floor. This doesn't add up for each beggar you kill, so the total benefit from this can only be 35% bonus probability. So don't try going on a Judgy killing spree. The last beneficial factor that you can have is in reducing the amount of red heart damage that you take on the floor. Note that soul heart damage is fine, it is only red heart damage that matters. So, by taking no red heart damage on the boss fight, you confer yourself a 35% bonus to your probability. However, if you can take no red heart damage on the whole floor, then you get a 99% bonus to your probability. It is important to note that self-damaging items that use red hearts did not count as red heart damage. So, go ahead and use those demon judgments, razor blades, and bad trip pills without affecting your chances of getting a devil room. So, the total highest benefit you can get from all of these factors on a single floor is 1% base, plus 30% for multiple pentagrams, plus 35% for having the Book of Revelations in your possession, another 35% from killing a beggar, another 35% for taking no red heart damage on the boss, and 99% for taking no red heart damage, all adding up to 235% probability that a Devil Room will appear. So go ahead and min-max your Devil Room chances to your heart's content. However, there are some negative factors that can reduce your chances. First and foremost, if the room didn't appear upon completion of the boss battle, then your chance of finding it for that floor is reduced immediately to 0%. This means you can't walk in and out of the boss fight room trying to make a Devil Room spawn. If the Devil Room has already appeared once on the current floor, or on the previous floor, multiply your probability by 0.25, meaning if you have a maximum probability of 200%, but the Devil Room spawned on the previous floor, it gets reduced to 50%. If the Devil Room appeared two floors ago, you multiply by 0.5, meaning a 200% probability would be reduced to 100%. 
One thing to keep in mind here is that floors where devil rooms don't normally appear don't count towards this reduction of devil room chance. This may not seem that important, but if you continue to play the game after a run of yours has ended, these values don't reset as long as the game is still running. So this means that if you got a devil room on the womb 1, this reduced chance is going to apply to your next run on the basement 2. One reason this can be really important has to do with angel rooms, which we will discuss next. The Angel Room is a special version of the Devil Room, which provides a powerful item at no cost to the player. These items often boost defensive capabilities by providing additional spirit hearts or protection from damage, but they can also be offensive as well. Spawning an Angel Room follows all of the same rules as the Devil Room, with a few added parameters. First, a deal with the Devil Room has to have spawned at some point since the game has been launched. Second, no deals with the devil can have been made in the current run. If both of these parameters are met, the next devil room that spawns has a 50% chance of spawning as an angel room instead. So, if you've made a deal with the devil in a previous run while the game has been launched, both of these parameters can still be met. The devil room can have spawned in a previous run since the game was launched, but the current run can still be free of any deals with the devil giving your next Devil Room on the new run a 50% chance of being an Angel Room. This gives you a lot of incentive to play the game multiple times in one session, as the free Angel items are certainly a boon. One final trick to consider. A Devil Room can spawn after the fight with Mom, but you won't be able to access it by default as the room is sealed. However, if you can teleport yourself out of the room, you can then re-enter and the layout will be a traditional boss layout, with entrances and exits and, if you're lucky, a devil room. Thanks for watching this first episode of Eyes Academy. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something. Please let me know what you think in the comments below, as well as suggestions for future Eyes Academy videos. And don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe to the channel to be sure to see all future Eyes Academy videos.